What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 3A Podcast. I'm your host, Jerks, and today I'm joined by J.D. McCanny. 87. Is it 78 or 87? 78. 78. 49? 54. Hut, hut, hut. Okay. Uh, and Public Enemy 59. The Los. The Ooh, go, The go, Oh. Uh, still, we're so Alrighty then technically under quarantine. It, it, so, like, are we supposed to still stay inside? <laughs> like, I'm it's under modified quarantine. We're under modified quarantine. Mo- modified quarantine. Hey, but the yeah. Houston just put another stay at home order. Did they? If y'all don't today, they just uh, okay signed another one that supersedes the state. I don't know. No, the government already put out on Monday said so nothing supersedes the state. The state is is true. But Houston put their own first, stuff so. out there. Just yeah. saying, I don't know. Uh, you know, I would do it anyways. Yeah. Um. So yes, people are going out today too. Oh, we went to we went to a grocery store this morning, and and we were we were about to walk in. I was like, oh shit, our mask. <laughs> and then I go back to my car. I'm like, only got one. She's like. I'll go. <laughs> I was like, hey. <laughs> wow. Man, that's a time. What a time to be alive. But ladies and gentlemen, this yep. is the Throwaway Podcast. Uh, we're bringing you our top comments on gaming, sports, and pop culture. But let's start with gaming today because, man, there was a lot going on this week. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Game over. Game over. Uh, the Last of Us 2. A uh, very anticipated game has been leaked. Like somebody at uh, Naughty Dog was not happy with uh, the upper management and said, uh, "Fuck you!" And I'm leaking your like pivotal scenes, cut scenes, gameplay, and pretty much giving out the whole story for the game. And then like this happened, I, be, I believe it was on a Monday, right? Or Monday or Sunday night or something like that. 27th, and, yeah. And then the next day, uh, Naughty Dog and Sony were like, oh, by the way, we're, we're releasing the game now on June 19th after it was indefinitely, you know, on hiatus until then. Now, yeah. for me, like, yes, I want to play this game. Yes, I'm kind of like excited for it. But you bet your ass I want to go look at them leagues, boy. <laughs> You bitches! I'm not gonna let the internet ruin that for me. I was like, you know what? Let me find out on my own. But uh, yeah, what do you guys take on this? Um, I haven't. I, I stayed. Away, it's I've. I haven't found it too hard to stay away from the leaks. Um, I didn't check it out. Um, I heard about it. Then I saw a report come out after from Sony and Naughty Dog saying it wasn't an employee. So. I, I don't know the details of exactly who it was who leaked the game, but all the internet, and then people were pissed. Not only that the game game was leaked, but people that saw the details, saw the leaks, weren't happy with the direction they took. Um, so a lot of drama, a lot of crap going on. I don't know exactly the situation, who it was that leaked it. Because we heard it was a disgruntled employee. Then we're hearing from Sony it wasn't someone employed by them. So I don't know. Uh, and then people tripping about the story and what direction they took. I just kind of stayed away from it all. I don't, I mean, uh, most likely I'll be getting the game. I'll check it out then. I'll make up my own mind about it. But just a lot of people pissed off around the internet all over. JD? You know, I, I have not checked out any of the leaks or anything like that. Uh, I mean, it, it kind of upsets me when people do stuff like this just because, you know, even if, if somebody made a comment down on the bottom of that page, you know, um, people put a lot of their hard-earned time and money and effort into this, and you have some idiot who wants to think, oh, well, I want to show everybody what I can see, rather than just give us the chance to see the game when it comes yeah. out. Let, let, the, let the company put out the trailers and stuff like that. And just, uh, it just, I don't know, it, it irritates me. Knowing, you know, anytime somebody leaks stuff like that, they're not supposed to. Bugs the hell out of me because I don't I don't appreciate people doing that. You know, it's like if you're gonna do something, keep it to yourself. You know, don't try to be a, a freaking warmonger or, or because that's the apparently if this person's not associated with Sony or Naughty Dog, mm-hmm. now they've got computer hacking charges <clears throat> that are gonna be brought up against them as well as being sued by the companies. Well, supposedly, yeah. was supposedly it, was it worth lot, all that little fame you got? Uh, supposedly, a lot of the the rumors started like I think it, it was first released like on 4chan or something, 
and then like you can find it all over YouTube, and then of course it hit Reddit, and then at one point the the last of us Reddit uh, like page was like uh, on lockdown, like they wouldn't even let anybody comment or anything for a while. Um, but a lot of the rumors are coming from uh, saying that it's QA testers that uh, that somebody was pissed off like that they contractors, haven't that, yeah they yeah. haven't been paid, and it kind of like them in their nose at the company and be like, well fuck you, I'm gonna release the game then if you, I mean. I, I obviously I don't agree with them releasing the game. I don't agree with them leaking it. It's not a good way to have the fans, like the hardcore fans of this game, enjoy the game, and then all of a sudden, like you know, are waiting for the game to enjoy the game, and then all of a sudden, there this leaks, and then there and at that time it was like we don't even know when it's gonna come out. Now I have to like dodge these leaks for like forever mm -hmm. apparently, but no, eventually they did come out with the release date, which they had to. Supposedly they had nothing to do with the with the leak, but bull, I call bull. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yes, it did, and I mean Naughty Dog and Sony released this the release date for this. They moved around release dates, right? They they moved Last of Us to June, and then I think. I think Ghost of Tsushima was supposed to come out at that, that time, but I think they're pushing that one further back or something. I didn't, I didn't mm. catch the release date for that one, but I did see that they, they did like uh, confirm two release dates. It was Ghost of Tsushima and Last of Us. Uh, yes, a lot of people are going to be upset with what happens, but honestly, I think people are still going to enjoy this game no matter what. It's The Last of Us. Uh, I mean, it's a great game. The first one won Game of the Year when it was released. It was amazing. I, I till this day it's probably one of my favorite games probably like top five for sure um i'm still excited even though i know i, I like i said i went i went i went ahead and go and went to go look for it. i was like you know what i regardless of what like the leaks are yes i could have waited for the game itself but i'm still gonna play it like that's not gonna take away that's not gonna take anything away from that because at this point th this game is so ingrained in my head like i have to play it kind of thing like hey uh mm -hmm. quick question like you saw the leaks and without spoilers mm -hmm. what'd you think I can't. I can't talk about that. I mean, we can talk about it off, you know, off the recording. But were you but disappointed? Here, I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. What am I disappointed? No, yeah, no. Disappointed I'm. I'm. I'm excited for people to play it because I mean, Naughty Dog. They're. Uh, I mean, yes, they, they. Their games like mechanically aren't like the greatest of all time. Whatever. Uh, I feel like they all play the same. Like the the third person party games, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the storytelling that they do is very well done. Like it's what it's mm. extremely well executed. It's it's what like uh, like if they were to win, like if they were compared to like movies, like their storytelling, like it would be winning Oscars, like movies, movies, film of the year, whatever. Uh, like they're really good at that. So I don't think people are gonna be disappointed. I just I just think um, with anything, with any type of game, any type of like situation, there's always gonna be expectations, and then. As time grows, the expectations grow. And, you know, for the most part, you can never meet those type of expectations. So, but regardless, I think this is going to be a great game. I, um, maybe even contender for game of the year. This year is going to be pretty, it's pretty heavy so far, like towards the end of the year. But I don't know. We'll see. All right. Wait till it comes up, yeah. All right. Uh, next here in gaming, Ass Creed. Ass Ass Creed. Valhalla. Uh, so Ubisoft, uh, what was this? I think it was on Thursday, was it? Or Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. Yeah, I think it was, uh, it was Thursday. It was May 1st. I think, yeah, I think it started Wednesday with the drawings. And then the next day they released the video for yeah. Valhalla. But anyways, yeah, Ubisoft teamed up with Boss Logic, who's a creative artist. Uh, and if literally, okay, I, I'm I'm 100 sure now, but it was pre-recorded, but it was live, quote unquote, on YouTube, and he was he was creating the key art for the for the game from scratch, and it was really interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I was watching, I had it on like I had it playing in, my, in the background of my computer, and like I would like click like dip it in the in the stream and every once in a while and see like how he's doing something or whatever in Photoshop. I was like. Damn, that's how you do it on phone. All right, I'm like, I was like, oh shit, I'm taking notes. Fuck, you know, I don't really care what's going on right now. But <laughs> um, yes, seven hours later, they revealed the key art, and then it was like, you're like, come back tomorrow for the trailer. I'm like, God dang it, <laughs> like, right. bastards. So yeah, the next day we we finally see the trailer for uh, Call of Duty. I mean, Call of Duty. Oof. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, everybody, it, it, this was leaked and rumored already from like a long ass time ago. Uh, it, 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 at first people thought it was going to be called Ragnarok. 
But then because of the whole Marvel movie, they were like, no, nah, they're probably not going to name it that. Yeah. So, yes, we have Valhalla, Assassin's Creed, New Game. What do you guys think? Man, just from that trailer alone, it looks pretty interesting. I know it's, it's, it may not be exactly like that, but, I, I mean, they did a good job on that trailer. That was some pretty good stuff. Uh, I've always been into Vikings myself, so I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. But I also want to wait and see because – you know, after that one debacle they had about what they put out the, I don't remember which one it was, but they had so many problems with the game itself. Oh, that's Unity. Like the, yeah, Unity area. That's Unity that's when they I first came to the next gen consoles. Yeah. yeah, it was it was absolutely trash. So I'm, I'm I'll probably wait a little bit to see how the playability is, but I think if there's no any issues, I'm probably gonna get it pretty close to release time if I can afford it. I mean, I was. I, but again, I also want to wait to see some gameplay. I want to see what actual gameplay looks yeah, like. Yeah, I want to see yeah. gameplay of this you know, too. To be honest, Assassin's Creed, as far as gameplay and graphics gameplay, has not disappointed me so far. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, aside from the glitches in Unity, you know. So I mean, that was. I'm kind of looking forward to this one, and I really hope that they do a good job with this one this time. They've had some time to work on it, so hopefully they they can they can get everything ironed out that they need to, so everything looks great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks good uh, from the trailer, going off of the trailer. Like JD says, I mean, it, it looks interesting, man. I, I'm i not the biggest Assassin's Creed fan anymore. Uh, I, Although um, uh, this last one, what was it called? Uh, uh, Odyssey. Odyssey, you know. Odyssey really, was amazing. I really liked that one. Yeah, they really went all in. That, that game is huge. So if, if this is going to be bigger and better, like, damn. Uh, but, no, I'm interested, man. Uh, it, it caught my attention. Um, I want to see what angle they're going to go at it with. Um, like, yeah, I, I just want to see more. Is it going to be an immediate buy? I don't know. Um, would I prefer it on next-gen consoles? I don't know. There's a lot more that, that needs to be seen, a lot, a lot more that I want to see. But... So far, it's it's catching my attention, man. The way they did the whole reveal was kind of lackluster. They did an eight-hour stream, then said, come back tomorrow and watch. Like, eh, (laughs) probably not the best way to go about it, but whatever. Uh, In the end, uh, it looks looks solid. Um, So we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Yeah, uh, I think it it looks cool. Uh, I'm kind of on the same boat about the trailer. I mean, for me... Speaking of the trailer, it's a all CGI trailer. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really sell me. I mean, it looks cool, but it doesn't really sell me because, like, I, I I always see trailers like that. For example, from the ones from WoW, from League of Legends, from uh, Elder Scrolls, like online, like they yeah. make them look so freaking epic, and then you see them, it's just like you walking around, just yeah, yeah, you know, punching the air, hoping to hit something, <laughs> backing up. I'm like, you know what? Let me see gameplay, and then we can talk about like. Maybe how right. good this game is gonna be, but uh, regardless, so uh, yes, it looks interesting. Um, I'm still hoping from like for that uh, the one with the samurais, man, like that one I will sink my teeth into. But this one I'll oh, be yeah. like, like this one I'll be like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll check it out. That's <laughs> why you got Ghost of Tsushima coming out, bro. What nah, else you but, want? Uh, I need Templars to fight against, so bro, come on. Uh, but Tsushima, moving bro. on, uh, just a uh, quick note, Microsoft. Xbox Series X will be showing gameplay reveals off the console uh, May 7th. Ooh. I don't uh, – did they say – they have a time frame here? Uh, let me pull this up really quick for you guys can see and read on the YouTube side. Uh, this is coming from Polygon. Microsoft will show off gameplay for the next generation console, this Xbox Series X, on Thursday, May 7th. Then company announced on Twitter. It will be the first look at next-gen gameplay on the new Xbox, and Microsoft is teasing a lots of games. Uh, Xbox, Xbox Series X gameplay will debut, debut on the next episode of Inside Xbox, Microsoft's live stream video presentation, May 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. I'm not, uh, well, can I, well, I can do it like, I don't know, that's a little early, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah just that's more more or less a more uh a quick note especially since it's gonna happen after we release this podcast so you know if you guys are interested to see what the next generation of console game is gonna look like well there you go may 7th check it out um right. and lastly here on gaming the google stadia is still ticking google stadia had its 
uh, latest connect, you know, <laughs> when they try to connect to their to their, to their fan service? base question mark <laughs> if they still have any. But anyway, they released a video. Uh, basically, everybody from their team was like being live streamed from home. They were showing some games. Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, mm, I don't know. It was underwhelming. I, I, I probably like fell asleep halfway through. Uh, <laughs> honestly, there's only so much they can do right now. Uh, but then again, they could also be very creative with the situation that's going on. Uh, did you guys catch any of the, the Google Stadia Connect? No, I haven't. I did not. I, mm. I I heard about what they talked about, which yeah. there's not really a lot in there that I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds interesting. They they did talk about some stuff that's exclusive to, or it comes first to Stadia. Yeah, it's not exclusive to Stadia, but it's like it comes first to Stadia. None of those titles really caught my attention. And then they announced some third-party games that are already out there that will be coming to the service as well. So nothing really jumped out at me when I looked at that press release and made me think, <laughs> oh, okay, now I need to get this service. I mean, anything jumped out to y'all? Um, No, not really. I mean, they, they are teaming up with EA, and they're bringing like, games like Madden, FIFA, and the Star Wars yeah, games that's, to Yeah, that's... That's I think that's ridiculous for EA mm -hmm. to be putting their full support behind a, a a a platform that probably doesn't even have a million uh people in you know utilizing it. Yeah. But they don't want to bring their stuff to the Nintendo Switch, which has millions and millions of of people in it. Ah, whatever. That's, that's all <laughs> hey, no, topic, but... that's why when I found out about it, I was like, wow, two dumpster fires are com combining forces. Like, I thought that was kind of <laughs> stupid. Um, yeah. But also, they also announced like, that now you d they're also releasing what well, the way it was like, like explained was really redundant. Like, I didn't un really understand it. But, you know, w once I got it through process in my brain, I'm like, OK, I get it. So Google Stadia was uh, the only way you could have gotten in is with Google Stadia Pro. Now, now they finally yeah. release Google Stadia like regular version, so anybody can just join in. Uh, mm. for, you can you can activate your account for free, basically. But on top of that, they're still doing the two months free of Google Stadia Pro. So if you guys are interested at all, you still have a chance to go uh, check out Google Stadia for yourself. Because I mean, yes, we're we're shit talking it to be honest. Uh, I I was gonna sign up for it, and then I don't know what happened. They were asking me for something. I'm like, I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I'll come back to it. But I I do eventually do want to go check it out. I uh, I have decent internet here. I want to put it on my phone if I can. I don't think I can though. It's only like Google phones or something like that or Samsung. Uh, I want to check it out. I want to play it. I want I'll. I'll I would probably even stream it just to see, like, get other people's reaction to how Stadia is, like, with its online play. Um, I don't know, uh, JD, you have anything on this? Like I said, I've been following anything with Stadia. I just mm -hmm. hadn't interested me enough to really even pay attention to it. So I just, I, I got enough consoles as it is, you know. So <laughs> trying to add in, if I want to play something on the computer or on a computer network, I'll play it on the computer. You know, that's that's really the way I look at it. I don't, I don't need an that's extra device or true. extra controller to to plug into something and try to go through it there. So, it, I, it just to me, like I said, to me, it seems like it's it's. It had this come out maybe five years ago, it probably would have been great. Now it's kind of in the mix of a bunch of extra stuff that we really don't really yeah. need and it isn't isn't putting out anything really extraordinary or anything mm -hmm. re revolutionary. You know, it's it's just. Trying to add, trying to add on to something that's already existing, and I don't think it's it's doing a very good job of it. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, end the gaming right there, and let's move on into sports. <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> it's a home run. Goal. <laughs> sports. All right. Uh, the last dance. Uh, I think I think Leo tweeted tweeted something. And he was like, I need them to release The Last Dance on Netflix as soon as possible. Like, what the hell is he talking about? And he's like, it's about sports. Of course you wouldn't know. I'm like, <laughs> touche. <laughs> I'm like, but that doesn't explain to me what it was. But it, I found out it was like the Michael Jordan, Mike, uh, Chicago Bulls, like last year documentary yeah. thing, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, 
I started checking it out today randomly. Didn't even see it on, yeah, the, yeah. on the thing. I was just watching it today. I, was, uh, I think I've watched like one or two episodes. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, go ahead. It's really freaking good. It's uh, I mean, I'm not a Chicago Bulls fan. I'm not a big Michael Jordan fan. I acknowledge he's one of the best basketball players of all time. I'm just not a big follower of his. But for any basketball or even sports fan in general, this is a really good made documentary. Uh, it. It's uh, entertaining to watch. You get a lot of behind-the-scenes kind of stuff. So especially if you're an avid basketball fan or an avid MJ fan, this is, like, great stuff for you. But even me as a general sports fan, this is entertaining to watch uh, to get me, uh, you know, in the heads of these athletes, mm -hmm. uh, what they were going through at the moment. Mm -hmm. You get the different point of views of MJ, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, uh, the coach. Um, What's his damn name? Phil um, Jackson, bro. Come on, Phil put Jackson, some respect yeah. on his name. Yeah, yeah, Phil Jackson. So you get a little bit of perspective from everyone. It's really entertaining to watch. It's been really, really fun. Uh, I'm, it's four episodes in. I think there's another two episodes coming out uh, that should have been out by the time of this recording. So a total of six episodes. Uh, I think it's like a 10-episode kind of thing. So, oh, is it really? Uh, yeah, oh, man. Sure. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's, it's really good. I would recommend catching it if you haven't already. If you like or care about sports, like check it out. It, it's it's solid. All right, JD, you're gonna check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out because I see I grew up in the area of era of uh, Michael Jordan and all those all the other greats. You know, the, the dream team as it as it were. Um, so yeah. definitely something I want to kind of see how that you know what what their take is on that particular era and what they think they should. Uh, you know what they thought of it so uh, yeah i definitely gonna I, if it's on netflix i'll probably pick it up uh see if i can find no, it no well it's, the thing the leo leo's in canada so for him it's on netflix but for us is espn okay yeah so i got I, 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 I gotta log into my, my xbox to check it out to see if it's there so okay, okay but uh but yeah uh yeah my girlfriend has youtube tv so we were watching on espn there but yeah. um, uh, moving on to the next part here uh nba is discussing playing the reminder of the season how are they going to do that well, uh, I, LeBron tweeted out saying that, like, no way that the season is just going to be canceled. You know, they want to finish the season. How, where, what, when, no idea. Uh, yeah. Unlike MLB, where we're getting rumors all the time, I haven't really heard too many rumors about the NBA. Yeah, that's what true. their plan yeah. would be. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's stuff out there, but I just haven't heard anything. So No, you're right. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting. I think the players, I mean, a lot of these guys have already gone three quarters of the season. They don't want to just let it go to waste. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, I feel like the majority or, you know, of the players want to finish out the season. How that's going to happen, no idea. I'm sure the NBA execs want to do that. You know, they, they're losing out on a bunch of money. So Of course. It'll be interesting to see. I do want to see a playoffs. I do want to see a finals. Why don't you just end it where it is right now and start it out from the from the playoffs? I think that'll be a good idea. Just go straight into the playoffs from where it is. It's kind of set for those people left out of the playoffs. Um, but I don't know. It, it, it's a crazy situation. Obviously, none of this, all of this, is crazy for everyone. So um, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Uh, but, I, I mean, when you got LeBron, your biggest superstar at the moment, saying, I mean, because LeBron got a really good chance at a championship with this team he has right now. So I'm sure he wants to get back out on the floor. Honestly, I think if they want to do a playoff like this, they want to keep it fair, do a random lottery system with all the teams, have just have a giant bracket system. Like, they, like you know, have, they have a smaller one, just have a big old bracket system, lottery pick, a week, you know, they have a week long of games in between each, for each one. And then you know, rank it up that way to the to the to the you know from each area and have a final have a final four that way. A oh, okay. lottery bracket. Well, you know, Hold on. Like, like say you know like you got oh. the, the cap. No no no. no hey, hey, like, <laughs> so you, got, you got the Cavaliers. You got everybody else. But in, in a big old each each area in its in its big old in its own system, draw from that to see who's going to play who. Because right now you can't really determine who's going to who's going to be better of the two teams because we haven't had any games played yet. So we don't really know for certain. We're gonna like guess no, by what we, we no. We the the season ended right at the almost at the end of the season. Yeah. So there were we have standings. That's what I'm saying. You could just take those standings. Yeah, but look how many teams. Like I mean, the playoffs right now, and we've had teams that have been terrible in the first beginning of it, and then 
come back, you know, come back and and done real well in the in the last half of the season. So blame, corona, no blame Corona, man. Blame Corona. Blame Corona. <laughs> you should have been good before Corona. Like, hey, I don't know. Well, or there, maybe do play a final ten games. I don't know. Not well, that I don't I'm, I'm pulling up this experience. article from ESPN. And they're saying that the NBA uh, discusses uh, delaying the start of the 2021 season until December. So even with that, like, oof, you know what I mean? Oh, look who joined us. Are you driving, bro? No, 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 my girl is. <laughs> Wait, why is there a delay? No, guys, I am, I am safe. Huh? It's like your mouth is moving, but you, you don't hear anything. What? Oh wait, there it goes. Oh, there, oh, there. <laughs> yeah, it was. No, it wasn't doing it at first. Yeah. Yeah, it was like yeah. watching a Japanese movie. You know, you the lift, lift and move, and then something else was saying something later oh. on. So. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the reason why I, I, we I just went to the grocery store uh, to buy food, and we went to like three, and like the lines are long. Like, oh really? Long, like all. Hmm. I don't know what happened. I thought H E B had it all together, but. <laughs> They should be fucking up like bad. Well, so that's why we've been doing the uh, <laughs> the online grocery thing because it's easier just to, to pick what you want there, pay for it, and then they'll bring it out to your car. Yeah, Actually, I, the reason I don't do that online thing is because I know we're getting off topic, but I've been going to H E B and like seeing the people that they get their stuff right for the online, and what ends up happening is like sometimes they're not even covered. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that. No. All right. Speaking of dealing with that, let's deal with the end of sports right there and move into pop culture. Pop. <laughs> all right, boys. I knew this all along. I told y'all I'm a believer. Aliens are real. This is confirmed. Boom. This confirmed. Is confirmed. No, wait. It's not confirmed. confirmed. The Pentagon well, released UFO videos. Don't hold your breath for a breakthrough. Oh, though. yeah, because they've never released false information before. Bro, they're aliens. They're real. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe they're aliens. I just don't think we've seen it yet because that there's nothing in, in those videos to confirm me. Or All right, this is this is why exactly. nobody would ever take it serious. This is yeah. why this is not hitting major news waves as it should be. This is why we're all being anal probed at night. Nobody wants to believe it. <laughs> aliens are real, bro. Aliens are real. All right. The Pentagon yeah, says look, it. The right. reason you don't see anything is because you're not a fighter pilot. So <laughs> I, I've, I've seen fighter pilots <laughs> analyze that video that we all see. Kind and of they're like, shit is that? I, I've seen fighter pilots analyze that video we all see. And <laughs> they're like, Top yeah, Gun? Nothing. Top Gun? Yeah, fighter pilots like Top Gun. Um, <laughs> and they... And they say that what they're seeing from those cameras that are on those those jets, like that shouldn't be happening. And Look, they know how to read all those little data shit. We don't know what the fuck any of that means. To us, it's just a video, and that shit's not moving. And he's like, no, that shit's moving fucking quick, and it's and it's not man made. So, I mean, I mean, those does look like an alien. So I mean, there there's your alien life form right there. Look, man, aliens are real. For, and, and I did a poll on my Twitter, and I asked everyone, oh, what do you oh. think they're here for? What do you think they're here for? Are they here to study us? Nope. Are they here to destroy us? Yep. Or, or are they here to anal probe? We're the only ones and... in the galaxy with Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, let's, true, give, true. let's give this game out and see how many fucking uh, idiots play this game. Sure enough, those oh, are the no. first video. They're the ones that released it. They're trying to make sure it's working on all the people that released it to. Actually, the people playing Animal Crossing will be saved. Everybody else will be killed, so fuck y'all. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I, I um, highly doubt that. Hold on, hold on. So, hold on. You guys are telling me that you don't think UFOs are real. I, I think believe them. Oh, no. Is that what I'm I hearing? Do. I do. I just, I right I said, it. from the video I've seen, it didn't look like anything that a, that a, that a drone couldn't do. You know, it didn't really look like it was anything nah. spectacular. No, so. like, I mean, like you, I have said, to, wrong, you have to understand... Wrong. JP, JP. No, let, JP. let me let me let me spell it out for you. When when these fighter pilots flying in these jets like in the air are flying around, they're not going like five miles an hour, brother. They're they're flying in the air. And on top of Correct. that, the wind speeds <clears throat> up there in in like 
right right before you get to outer space even even i forgot the the little like placenta thing is called i don't know that's not called placenta but <laughs> like even before you hit the that that stratosphere area like it, it it's windy i mean i can tell you for sure like i i have a drone like even even like a couple of feet off the air like 50 60 feet off the air like like that shit like the wind itself like can blow that that drone like miles okay. away okay. so i'm so telling you dude like the way this thing was flying in the air in the direction it was going against the wind and how smooth it was flying how it was changing directions like nothing aliens are real bro all right yeah, but hey, and are Joe, real. this is confirmed you, you got to remember though okay over 20 years ago i was part of a ship i was on a ship was testing out the first controllable tomahawk weapon system okay i watched that thing chase an f-16 back and forth through the sky that was 22 years ago. Yeah, okay? but that's a missile. This isn't a yeah. missile, man. Okay, that's a missile. And you know how things get smaller and more advanced as we go along in, in, in yeah, time. Yeah, thanks to the alien so. technology that they're I sharing. Mean, <laughs> I mean, think about it. Think about it. In World War II, we had fax machines. We literally had fax machines. That's how intelligence was going all across all over the world through fax machines. And we didn't release it to what? The 60s, 70s? Okay, so JP, you're saying, you're saying that you don't believe aliens are out there. I think there's probably another side of life form, but I don't think it's aliens. Like, I, like, like, aliens, he, 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 I guess he doesn't mean like they're advanced, like intelligent yeah. creatures out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, they're, they're, he's like, thinking I, more like like bacteria and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. All right. All right. I, I, I feel so, like if there were aliens, I would like <laughs> my request would be like take all the dumbasses from this world, and maybe our traffic would get better. Okay, uh, so let's put another twenty on it. So we got 20 on Animal Crafting <laughs> and, and Final Fantasy sales. Which Final we Fantasy got is catching up, boy. Woo. It's not, it's not going to catch up. What's the other 20 we got? We got an oh on Tom Brady winning the division. Yeah, he's not going to win the division. Okay, and then we got another 20. Let's put it on it. The aliens are real. Nah, that's never going to ever, ever happen, bro. So, so right, you you put it on it then. 20, another 20 on it. <clears throat> Fine. All right, 20. fuck it. Yeah, and it's on tape. Moving I can't on. wait to rub it in your face. All right. <laughs> movie theaters, uh, specifically AMC movie theaters. Boom! Will, will, will no, 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 hold on. It's actually moved on. Regal has doing it now too. And Regal, oh, okay, okay, I'll get to that part. AMC, it started off with Regal. AMC versus Universal Films, because yeah. Universal Films is uh, Trolls World Tour actually made some bank from like streaming from home and getting charging everybody $20 to watch it for two days. Yep. yep. <laughs> so, what the fuck? Yes. So people, people watched it. So people they were, so they were bra bragging about it and they was like, what? Mother, what? Like, did yep. you forget about me? Uh, but the studio says they made over a, a like a uh, nearly a hundred million dollars just off the rental wow. fees. So Whoa. Why why do I need you Regal Cinemas or AMC? Exactly. Why? Like why do I need to like pay you a, a portion of my of my movie if I can get all the monies for this, bringing people to my right streaming here, site? This right here is the future, y'all. The future. Movie theaters will die in the next couple of years <laughs> because and I'm not being a douche about it. They're overpriced. Uh they're shitty. The people there who are, are taking care of these movie theaters are like young kids who don't give a fuck out in high school, <laughs> so they don't even clean the fucking. Yeah. That's so true. The yeah. place is fucking they, trash. They need, they need a trash. They, they need the Chick Fil A mentality for those theaters. Actually, they, hey. I think every retail business of any level needs the Chick Fil A mentality. Like I don't know what they're doing to those kids, what kind of brainwashing techniques they're doing during training, but that shit works. It's the chicken nuggets. It's the yeah, fuck AMC. These guys are <laughs> fucking over a company for trying to make our lives better at home, giving us access to a movie. Like, and AMC's yeah. over here, like, being vindictive. Fuck, fuck AMC. They don't care about us. They don't care about, they care about us. They themselves. They care about money. Yep. JD? So guess what? Okay. Canceling my fucking membership. <laughs> yeah, you got to think about it though. I mean, Universal would not be anything right now without the movie theaters. So it's it's a it's a slap in the face to, to the to the to the locations and the companies that have made them uh, be available to the public. And Times are changing, man. I know, right? Well, I'm not, and I'm not saying they shouldn't they shouldn't go digital like they're doing. I'm saying what they what they really need to do is okay. First couple of weeks, we'll let it be in the movie theaters. After that, we're gonna put it on digital. No one was going to the theaters. Theaters Look, are closed. I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to just tell you like this. I don't mind the movies. I, if I want to go see a movie, I'll pay to go see the movie. My issue is when I go to the movie theater, it stinks. 
It smells. The customer service yeah. is trash. Not only that, their popcorn, their Coke, even their own damn pickles. Their pickles are like $5. <laughs> I can buy a jar of pickles <laughs> and eat them at home pickles, alone man. for $5. I mean, yeah, and I'll, I'll give you that. The prices are ridiculous because, I mean, so what you can get for – you can rent the movie, order a couple pizzas, go or get your own popcorn and sodas for as, about the same price as it would cost to get to two tickets to a theater production I'm and have eight people come over. Give you two bucks a piece. Um, you know, like you paid for I, right I'm, there. I'm still gonna go to the movie theaters. I think the experience at a movie theater is way better than the one at home, only because I'm not a, like a millionaire with the home theater like room underneath my I am. mansion. I am. So like, I will continue going to go into the movie theaters. Yes, the concession stands like are expensive, but it's it's because that's where they get their money. They still have to pay these companies to show the films. Like everybody has to get a cut. Um, so. I don't mind like uh, Universal making some money off of the digital sales. It, it, they're still a business. They should have just like not, I guess, bragged about it in a way yeah. that doesn't offend somebody, especially uh, movie theater uh, businesses. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I don't think. I don't think this is in a stand. I'm pretty sure eventually AMC and I, I guess now Regal will change their minds about Universal Films coming to their theater. Um, I don't know, man. I I I need to come back to the theater, man. I need to see the big explosions, the car chases from Fast and the Furious. I need I need to see them live. And, but even then, story. like that's my point. And, and even to even get that experience, you have to go to a specific theater. Like if I go to, mm -hmm. for example, here in Houston, if I go to like AMC Dunville, like oh no, that's trash. Trash. The speakers are messed up. The fucking or and, and, and or if I go Regal, which is like fucking marquee. If I go to the marquee. Like, unless I really pay high dollar, like $30 a ticket, then my experience is really good. Other than that, the experience is trash. I don't know. I feel like they, the uh, these Rico Studios, AMC, everybody's just taking money for themselves and not putting it into their actual movie theaters to make it an experience like it was you know, back in the day. I, I, if that may be the case, because, I, I mean, both those mm -hmm. companies, I think, are, are not having very good, even before coronavirus, we're not having a yeah. very good uh yeah, uh, I mean, they were I mean, they were doing their their movie passes and shit like that too, because they were having their own issues. So mm -hmm. they were they were trying to they were trying to kind of like not really go around movie companies themselves, like the, the 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 distributors, but they were trying to get some extra money by doing that that the movie passes and stuff. But uh, uh, honestly, um, something's got to change. That you know, got to minimize how many movie theaters we have. The one in Dunville has got to go. <laughs> uh, if you yeah. guys have really want to enjoy like a good movie theater experience, go to like an iPick theater. Oh, uh, I <laughs> like, See, the, the, the AMC up near me, I never have a problem with. They always have, I mean, the theaters, I mean, it's not like spick and span clean, but I mean, yeah. it's, it's always been, you know, swept up at least. And there's no, no junk laying around. And you know the speakers have never had a problem, so I guess maybe just certain theaters, certain areas. Yeah, I mean, I think so, certain, certain theaters doing, need so. to close down, uh, either remodel or just close down for good. All of them, all of them, no, all right, of them. Right. I got it. Shut down. <laughs> all the <laughs> Because Elias, remember when we were younger, how we would go to the movie theaters on Sundays, and like it was an experience. You would play video games. You we'd go to Red Robin, yeah. eat, yeah. Uh, or we go. You have wings. It was a good time with all the fellas. Enjoy the movies. Whatever movie was out that we really wanted to see, mm -hmm. and then it was like having fun every Sunday. Then now it's like, dude, everything stinks. It smells. Everything's overpriced. Back then, it Close was them all. Seven, burn them all. It was burn like seven dollars. Bro, it was seven dollars and twenty-five cents to uh, get a movie ticket. Okay, back then, and then not only that, Red Robin inflation. To get a, inflation. To get a burger and fries and a drink was ten bucks, bro. Like inflation, bro. Right. Yeah, I remember. I used to like, man, the major boomer commentary about to happen. But back in back in our day, like at twenty dollars, no, twenty dollars got me like half a tank of gas, uh, some food, and a movie ticket. Like just twenty bucks nowadays, twenty dollars. <laughs> Good luck just trying to get down the street with twenty bucks, even though the gas uh, <laughs> prices are lowering. But uh, I mean, yeah, gas is low now. Yeah, but you know, for I'm not even gonna tell you what gas prices were when I was a kid. Then holy oh. hell, <laughs> <laughs> one dollar. You, you can fill up two cars with twenty bucks. What are you talking about? Yes, Ten sir. cents a gallon. Yeah, no, no, not that bad. Not that bad. But but yes. Uh, so movie theaters, will they say where they go? Will they? be out of here like GameStop who knows 
Uh, moving on to our last little topic here. Masters of the Universe is coming to Netflix. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm excited. <laughs> hey, I'm excited. Uh, I got the microphone. I was excited. Uh, and it will be a continuation of the old series. Uh, I, I'm passing this over to JD. That's what Whoa. it looks like. I was reading. Um, it was looking like the Kevin Smith. Actually, first of all, Kevin Smith is heralding this. So he's yes, the one he's, actually he, doing. Yes. So I mean, it's, it's good to know there's actually a fan exactly. doing the show rather than just somebody who's getting paid to do it. You know, so I mean that that's one good thing. But it looks like he's going to keep he's trying to continue on from where the old series left off, and he's not going to be redesigning the characters. They're going to be the actual like they were in the original series as well. That's the other good thing I'm looking forward to. Just so. the action's going to be a little bit better. It's going to be improved yeah. a little bit better. And there's, and there's going to be new voice actors. I mean, he's got some good actors. He's got Mark Hamill's going to be playing Skeletor. Uh, Lena Headley is going to or Hedy is going to be playing uh, Evil Lynn. Mm-hmm. He's got some a couple other real big names that are already in the, are already lined up to do this. So I mean, it's it's. Looking to be like he's really going to put some effort and some work into this, and I'm hoping that right out the gate, it looks like it's, it's going. To, I'm, I'm actually going to go back and watch the old series again, just so I can make sure I can catch up. Yeah, that, it makes me want so. to go watch the old series too, just to get get in touch with everything. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, with Avatar coming back to Netflix, uh, uh, you know, Masters of the Universe, uh, Cowboy Bebop getting some headway here, Stranger Things is about to uh, come out as well. Uh, we got a couple of shows. Netflix right now is making bank. They're oh, yeah. seriously. You know, with everything with the coronavirus, Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu's Amazon falling off. Prime. I don't know what the fuck's going on with Hulu. Yeah, yeah Amazon Prime. <laughs> they're just, you know, they're just hitting it out of the park. So, you know, I'm going to see uh, Masters of the Universe. I'm excited. I know Lowe's doesn't know what Masters of the Universe is. Um, I don't care for it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm telling it's, you. It's an 80s thing, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah I'm kind of. I'm kind of up here that's you know, going off. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat with Lowe's. I really don't care for it, but I do understand it. I I, I like the memes. Uh, so I mean, I to each their own. But I, I like when I saw that Kevin Smith's name was attached to this. He's gonna be the showrunner. I was like, oh well, here we go. We're gonna he's gonna force feed us his daughter somewhere in here, like a hundred percent. And it's so funny too because I was watching. I know this is way off, but I was watching. Uh, what was it? The Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Uh, again daughter force in there and then they were trying to be What's like wrong with that, bro? They, were, they were trying to like be uh what was it uh self-aware when they were like oh they made a joke in the movie saying like oh he's just gonna force his daughter in the movie because he's always doing that now i'm like you're not funny you're stupid please stop pushing her down our throats anyways that's my rant against kevin smith right now i like his <laughs> movies though Bro, what's wrong with that? That's his kid. Know she's what not man? a good actress, dude. And she looks weird. She looks like she's fifty or forty. She's she like twenty. Uh, uh, I don't know. What she looks like Lowe's, all ugly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, yes, uh, Masters of the Universe coming back. Uh, will be sometime next year on Netflix. Uh, we'll have to wait and see of how it is. Oh, how no, it turns it's out. It's actually saying it should be this year, so twenty twenty. 2020 i'm reading yeah. here on the link it says next i'm on time. imdb so hey man at the end of the day uh shout out to drake with that new album okay oh uh, there's a new album <laughs> i mean it's not really an album it's like a demo what is it low it's like a, a mixtape yeah i like it all right all right guys that's gonna be in, this is gonna be in our main subjects here but let's end the show with uh what is it the Final, Final punches. punches. What have you been banging up uh, punch? Rodeo Roundup. Uh, rodeo Roundup. I don't know. Los? <laughs> well, uh, we were in Texas. <laughs> Texas <though. laughs> let's, let's just say the, the last thing we have been playing or see, watching. Uh, so I've been doing uh, hard mode on Final Fantasy VII. Uh, still oh, an amazing game. Sweat. Sorry. Still an amazing game. Uh, still out of the park. Uh, a 9 out of 10. Um, I'm also watching the show Afterlife. On Netflix with the hell uh, is that? it's uh with the guy uh from who the original guy from the office the one in Europe uh, what's his name the one oh, in, uh, uh, yeah, Ricky, Ricky Ricky yeah, Gervais Ricky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Ricky yeah, Gervais nice. I've been watching that show it's actually I thought it was gonna be funny man it's dark as fuck and depressing <laughs> mm. so uh, but it's a good show uh, but that's what I'm watching what are you watching Los I'm um, I'm watching Ozark man I'm 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 in the third season. It's three seasons, um, so I'm almost at the end of this third season. It, <clears throat> it's a little bit of everything, man. It's funny. It's fucked up. It's uh, suspenseful. It's dark. It's uh, some actions. Uh, so a little bit of everything. I really like it. I didn't think I was going to like it this much. I heard a lot of people talking about it, but Ozark, yeah, go check it out. JD? JD? 
Um, <clears throat> the only thing I've really been watching, uh, the only thing I really watched this week that was new was Westworld for uh, last Sunday, and I mean that's, Ooh. you know, that was that actually was pretty good. It actually had a showed a little bit more about what's been going on with the world and as far as, as you know, like outside of Westworld versus you know just being stuck in Westworld. So it's it's expanding the whole idea of the of the show, and it's actually been pretty good. So, Elias. All right. Uh, I have been. What the hell have I been doing? I've been like busy, like like editing stuff and like videos and, sh and whatnot. Uh, I, ha I've been, I was playing Fortnite again. Uh, what else have I been doing? Uh, I want to play more of the Predator game, but oh man, dude, I can't play that with like strangers. Stranger, like playing online, that that game is horrible. No, it, it's it, it it's so hard because like that game you have to like communicate with your teammates, but like when your teammates are a bunch of idiots, like it's hard to like do anything, and you get murdered by the predator so fast, and like it pisses <coughs> me off. I'm like, man, fuck this game. Um, but yeah, I've been playing that. I've been playing COD, of course. Valorant, Valorant's uh rank play just Bro. dropped. Uh, what else? I think that's it. No, no, no. no. What else? Have I been I'm doing? very productive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Animal Crossing. Come on, jerks. I don't have a Switch. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, don't worry, man. We get you. Yeah, you buy me a Switch, I'll play along with you, okay? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for everybody who's, who joined us for the podcast, three way podcast on YouTube, of course. And, of course, as always, you can catch the audio format on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, any real like podcasting platforms thank you to anchor for letting us distribute that for free uh wednesdays of course are our hump day shows we need to come up with the show uh and you can always connect with us on twitter facebook instagram uh what is it else? your mom and leave us a comment like Woo! share if you enjoyed and subscribe on youtube yes okay. yes yes all right sorry guys, guys showing up late my bad my <laughs> it's, bad it's all right <laughs> all right guys I got a devil horn. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I got one too. What the fuck does that mean? It's Corona. It's an alien. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright.